Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about sexual reproduction, specifically conjugation in paramecium. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So in our last lecture, I have talked about the reproduction of paramecium, and uh, I mentioned that paramecium reproduces both asexually and sexually. and the asexual reproduction takes place by binary fission that i have already explained in the last video and the sexual reproduction is of many types uh, first one is the conjugation so today specifically i talk about conjugation okay no so here we have two paramecium right two paramecium two cells and they are now known as pre conjugants so before starting the process they are known as pre conjugants what happens they come in contact so this is one cell this is the other cell these two cells come in contact and unite through their oral groups so we know that oral groups are present in uh, paramecium and they help in the feeding process okay so through their oral groups these two cells are now uniting and these are now known as conjugants so basically the conjugation occurs only when nutrition is deficient so they stop feeding and their oral group disappears this oral group is mainly present for feeding purpose when the nutrition is not there the nutrition is absent the oral group disappears and at that time only they can unite okay so the pellicle and ectoplasm at the point of contact of both break down and a protoplasmic bridge is formed between the two animals now they are called conjugants so basically we know that each paramecium is surrounded by the pedicle structure and what is ectoplasm ectoplasm is nothing but the cytoplasm of the cell that is present in the periphery of the cell so both of them that means pedicle and ectoplasm both of them are broken down at the point of their contact so the point of contact means this part so this part uh, the pedicle and ectoplasm are broken down and these two animals are uniting and they are now known as conjugants so before conjugation they were known as pre conjugants now they are known as conjugants right okay so uh, now each cell contains macronucleus this one this uh, big one that is black color this one macronucleus and micronucleus this is a red one small red one is the micronucleus now the macronucleus of each conjugant disappears you can see the macronucleus is not present present in this cell so macronucleus is disappearing and the micronucleus is only present so each micronucleus divides so the red one the micronucleus is dividing that means one micronucleus becomes two one micronucleus becomes two in this cell this is the cell number 1 and here also cell number 2 one micronucleus becomes two now each micronucleus divides again so one more cell uh, micronucleus division stage is there so here also the two micronucleus will divide and will become four and here also two micronucleus will divide and will become four so cell number 1 has now four micronuclei and cell number 2 also has four micronuclei you can see the text part the micronuclei of each conjugant divides twice thus four haploid daughter micronuclei are produced in each conjugant so we have seen already that each conjugant contains four such haplonuclei uh micronuclei right four such micronuclei 
Now, three or four micronuclei in each conjugate disappear. So you can see that four were there, three are now missing. Only one is present. Only one micronucleus is present in each cell. So this is the remaining micronucleus and it divides unequally. So this micronucleus will divide again, but this time it will yield two unequal micronucleus or unequal nucleus. Here one is the bigger and this is the smaller one. Okay, these are now known as pronucleus. The bigger one is known as female pronucleus and the smaller one is known as male pronucleus. The bigger one is stationary, it cannot move and the smaller one is movable, it is moving. So you can see the text, right? So uh, three of these four micronuclei degenerate in each so that only one remains. The remaining micronucleus of each conjugate divides mitotically into two unequal pronuclei, forming a larger stationary female pronuclear and a smaller active migratory male pronuclear. Just now I have shown this. The bigger one is female, smaller one is male. Bigger one cannot move, smaller one can move. Right, what happens then? The male pronucleus, that is the movable smaller pronucleus, will be exchanged between these two cells. This pronucleus, this male pronucleus will come here and this pronucleus will come here. So, pronucleus between these two cells will be exchanged. Male pronucleus between these two cells will be exchanged. Smaller pronuclei are exchanged. You can see the text part. The male pronucleus of one conjugate crosses over the protoplasmic bridge and fuses with the female pronucleus of other conjugate to form syncarion. Now what happens? So after the exchange, these two will fuse and these two will fuse. After the fusion, we can call it syncarion. Actually, syncarion is just like zygote. So, male and female pronuclei will unite here to form syncarion and male and female pronuclei will unite here to form syncarion. So, two pronuclei in each unite as syncarion. Okay. Now, what happens after that? The two cells to paramecia will be separated now. This is paramecia 1, this is paramecia 2. They will be separating. And here it is the thin carrion. It has, and here it is the thin carrion. So now they are known as X conjugates. So before conjugation, they were known as preconjugates. During conjugation, they were known as conjugates and after conjugation they are now separating they are now known as X conjugate right now this is the syncarion so this syncarion divides three times to form eight nuclei so first time the syncarion will form two such nuclei and these two nuclei will divide will form four such nuclei these four such nuclei will divide again and will produce eight such nuclei. So from one syncarion, eight nuclei will be formed in each cell. Same thing will happen here. Same thing will happen. In both the cells, same thing will happen. Okay, let's see the text part. The conjugates now separate and are called X conjugates. I have already explained. The syncarion of each X conjugate divides three times to form eight micronuclei in each X conjugate. Okay. Now, these eight nuclei are known as micro, micro nuclei. Micro nuclei. 
right? Then what happened? So among these eight micronuclei, four become macronuclei. This uh, black one, this four will become macronuclei. Three will disappear. Three are destroyed. And one remains micronuclear. So here we can see eight nucleus or eight micronuclei are there. Among these eight, three will disappear. Four will become macronuclei. And one will become micronuclei. Right? Let's see the text part. Four of the eight micronuclei enlarge and become macronuclei. And three of the other four micronuclei disappear. Right? Remaining one micronucleus is there. Now the remaining micronucleus divides and at the same time the X conjugate divides by binary fission into two cells, each having two macronuclei and one micronucleus. Now what happens? So in this cell we have four macronuclei and one micronucleus. Now this micronucleus will divide again and will become two micronuclei and at the same time the cell will also be dividing by binary fission. So the cell will form two cells. One cell will form two cells via binary fission and two macronuclei will come here. Two macronuclei will come here and the micronuclei was single it will divide and it will become two so one will come here and the other will come here. This is the first thing happens here. The cells and their micronuclei divide a second time to form four paramecia from each X conjugate so that each has one macronucleus and one micronucleus. So again, again what happens? This cell will... Uh, divide via binary fission. This cell will divide via binary fission. This will, will become two cells. This will, will become two cells. This will become macronucleus here. This will become macronucleus over here. This will become macronucleus over here. And this will become macronucleus over here. And the micronucleus, this one will divide again and this cell will get one micronucleus, this cell will get another micronucleus. This micronucleus will divide, this cell will get one micronucleus and this cell will get another micronucleus. That means from one paramecia, here you are getting four new paramecia. So this is the process of conjugation. This is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.